Let's run it again. Same iMac, same location. Look at that. Oh, I got a car full of stuff. But well, we got a cable ran in our house now, thanks to Amanda's dad. So I'm going to Best Buy to grab just a Nest router because I'm gonna hook up a Nest router to another Nest router so that I have a physical wired access point instead of relying on the wireless access point. The wireless access point is nice, but me, I like my speed and I'll get my speed by having this router sitting like 20 feet from my door compared to the router that's all the way across the house. Let's go to Best Buy and grab this Nest router, the Solo Pack. We'll unbox it and then I'll set it up and uh, show you how it works. I'll also run a couple speed tests to show those to you uh, before I do this. Click that like button, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. Let's go. The doctor said to talk to you. Rarely do I drive into a storm, but I really need this router. Literally, like as I arrive, it starts uh, getting really windy in the rain. Hopefully I can get inside before it's like pouring. And of course I'm wearing a white shirt today. Apparently a game tonight at the stadium, but uh, I don't know if that'll happen, but when was the last time you saw a Best Buy parking lot this empty at six o'clock? Like the pandemic had to kill Best Buy. It's sad. Those are some, uh, those are some big raindrops. I'm gonna get inside now. Let's see, we need, there's Google. That's what we need. It should be over here. Interesting, I don't see any. Huh. Ask somebody, I guess. So that's, that's what it is. Sounds like I just beat the rain. That's how I found it. They just gotta get the key. All right, once they, uh, once they found the key, I've got my uh, router. So now let's get this back home. I'm gonna run a couple speed tests to show you the speed on the Wi-Fi. Then we'll unbox this, we'll hook it up, show you the speed test with the wired one. It'll be much better. So this is my current main router that's plugged into the charter modem. That uh, white cable there is what is ran inside, which is what this will plug into. And this is where the uh, wireless one is set up. All right, so let's open this little guy up. I've only ever had the dual pack, so I don't know if there's a difference in opening a single pack. So there we go. Got the power and the two Ethernet ports, full gigabit and everything. Let's get started, guide. Shouldn't really need this. Power cable. I kind of wish it was still USB C. I'm not a fan of proprietary. Oh, yeah, and it comes with the ultra thin cable. Thin white cable. Nice. And that's it for the unboxing. So now we'll take this downstairs and hook it up. But first, let's do some speed test. So from right here at my desk, you can see my Wi-Fi signal was about half. Now it's like 80%. That's about all I've been getting. Now that's wireless to the wireless that I showed you to, uh, to here in my room, which is a decent ways away. Now for whatever reason, I've still been getting a great upload speed, just uh, download hasn't been so grand. Let's try it on the uh, iMac here as well. So on the iMac, I am getting literally the same. So that's the same download speed. God, at those advertisements. One, two, three, four, five advertisements around one window. <laughs> so the same 15 megs that you were seeing on the phone, and then still a pretty good upload speed. So let's take this downstairs. We will get it plugged up. We'll go through the app and set it up as an access point instead of a router. Then we'll come back up here and do these exact same tests again and see what kind of speed test results we get. All right, so when you're ready to set up your second access point that you want with a wired backbone, you'll wanna make sure that the cable running from your first Nest Wi-Fi router goes to the ethernet port that has the world on it on your second Nest Wi-Fi router. Once you have your cable plugged in there, you can just plug in your power cable. 
Now, you just got to give your device a few seconds to get this flashing white light. Now, I'll show you here inside of my Google Home app, you can see that I have two devices and the office Wi-Fi is a completely wireless device. So to add a new one, I'll go into add, set up a device, and then we will select new device because it's a Google device. And then your phone will look for the Nest Wi-Fi router. Once it's found your Nest Wi-Fi router, you can say, yes, you want to set this up. And then you just have to scan the QR code on the bottom of the Wi-Fi router. This is just telling you about the statistics and the cloud services that are included with Nest Wi-Fi. Once you agree or disagree to those, you can choose your location. I selected the basement. And then it creates your mesh network. I don't know what happened with my camera there. <laughs> now it's adding the Wi-Fi point to your network. And after a few minutes of looking at this screen, it'll finalize your network and this router will be a part of your entire network. Now if you have another one to set up you can continue. I didn't and you see now it's testing the mesh connection. Now it's showing three because at this time the original wireless one was still included but uh, I'm gonna remove that and we'll just have the regular Nest Wi-Fi router and then a Nest Wi-Fi router working as a wired access point with a wired backbone. Now I've moved my access point to on top of my battery backup and uh, let it download and install the updates. Let's run it again. Same iMac, same location. Look at that. That is a lot better. That's at least a quarter of the gig that I'm paying for. 150 megs is a lot better. 40 meg upload. And then on here, let's see what we're getting. A little better almost look at that breaking the 200 meg mark which that's why I pay for a gig because if I only had like a 200 or 300 meg connection this would be even less on Wi-Fi so to be able to get 200 by 35 up here is pretty darn good still getting things together in here I have a ton of products up here I got to make videos on but essentially that is how you would set up a nest Wi-Fi router as a wired access point. Now, you would only wanna do this if you're in a house kinda of like we are, where, where the original Nest Wi-Fi router is, doesn't reach all the way to this side, and with using the included wireless one, it just wasn't really enough speed for me. So by running a cable, plugging it into the LAN port of the first Nest Wi-Fi router that you set up with your modem, then plugging it into the regular little world port on the second one, it creates a complete wired backbone. So now my Nest Wi-Fi routers are not talking to each other through the Wi-Fi that's proprietarily built in. They're talking through that cable, which gives me the speed you saw, 200 megs compared to the 15 megs that I was getting before. So very, very well worth it in the long run if you have the ability to run that cable and things like that. That's how you would set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi system with a wired backbone. You just have to have two of the Google Nest routers. And you may have noticed there's really no access point setting. It just kind of knows that it's not the primary because the other one's already the primary and set up. So it just knows. And so far I've been using this two or three days now, have not came across a single issue and my speeds have been a million times better than they were before. So that'll do it for this video. Click that like button for me, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And I'll see you in the next one, deuces.